I won't lie, I'm not super excited about playing uh, Subnautica. Doing good? I'm mostly not excited about playing Subnautica because uh, I've, I've not been having like like I've been having an okay time with Subnautica. It's fine, but um, the next stuff that I have to do is kind of kind of spooky dangerous, and I'm not super excited to do it. I do have to make the Cyclops though, so we are probably going to make the Cyclops today. What is tube? Oh, right, that's my only beacon. I would be lying saying I'm doing good. Oh, no. That's, that doesn't sound good. That sounds not good. That sounds bad, even. Does that give me seeds? It gives me samples. Consume thy sample. Consumeth. Oh no. Oh no. At least it gives you two at the end, so you can go ahead and plant one of them. That's that's highly decent of them. Okay, that's that's good. We're done. I hope you have a good day, I'm a tan. I also ha hope that you have a good day. I'm sorry that something is is a miss, is a awry. I, I, I hope that it doesn't it, it continue it, it doesn't continue to go all right. I hope it goes the opposite of that. It does a 180. Does a cool 180 and a flip, and then and then and it's better than that. Um. Okay, moon pool. All right, so we have to make the cyclops. I kind of hope that making the Cyclops takes the entire session today. Because <laughs> here's the thing I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about is making the Cyclops. I'm going to make the Cyclops and then uh, and then I'm going to die in the Cyclops. Like I'm just going to I'm going to spend a lot of resources making this thing and then I'm not going to make it. And then it's just like I'm going to make it and then it's just going to get destroyed by some horrible creature under under the in the ocean okay so i need to make three plus steel we need six lithium i think we have enough lithium yes one two three four five six we have exactly enough lithium i kind of want to not make the cyclops also oh yeah we need titanium ingots that's gonna be a spicy meatball Spicy meatball. We need a lot of titanium. Okay, so you know what? I don't think we actually have enough resources right now. We need to I need to go farm some uh, Titanium. Oh that power cell is actually oh, you know what? Um, now that I have the moon pool I can charge uh, Kevbo was saying I think that I can charge the uh, The doodad this thing is now officially called the doodad this thing's got 72 charge, but we're gonna go ahead and put the zero. Oh wait, no, never mind. We'll we'll put the charge one because then I can't even move the sea moth. Sorry, the doodad. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swap. Is it it's charging? Yeah. Yeah, it is charging. But we're gonna go ahead and put a zero cell in it. And I'm just gonna go uh, swim about and uh, get some titanium. Some titanium. Um, I, would, I hope you're doing better and feel better soon. So I, I bought last night, I, I talked about this a couple of weeks ago, m months ago actually. Uh, if you don't remember, that's all good. Um, but I wanted to try at some point I wanted to try The Hunt Showdown. Um, the Hunt Showdown is by Crytek, which I didn't know, actually, which is kind of interesting. I, I don't know if it's made in the Crytek engine. I think it probably is. Crytek has always been very insistent on their engine, 
And I think their engine is okay, but it's got a weird and kind of storied uh, history. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a Sonic the Hedgehog game made in the Crytek engine, which is like historically bad. Like it was like, r I think it might have been Sonic Boom. It might have been Sonic Boom, which was um, not a great Sonic game, as I recall. I think it was not great. Uh, I am carrying too much stuff right now. When dying in Cyclops, we will be grooving in the best place. Play piece of OST in this game that can only be heard in this exact situation. Hope this makes everything better. Oh, excuse me. Um, I mean, yeah, sure. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for. We're looking for that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the uh, a Grooven soundtrack. Should I don't know. I don't. I kind of don't want to pick up the salt right now, even though I could definitely use that salt. I'm looking for scrap metal. There's some. Inventory full. Is there anything we can get rid of? Nope, not really. I should, uh, I should like get rid of some of my extra tools that I'm not needing or using right now. Um, yeah, so I got the hunt showdown and then uh, I played like the beginning training of it. And then I also uh, tried like a couple of matches, not of the main bounty mode because I figured I was on my own. And uh, I wasn't really going to get much. There wasn't much chance of me getting anywhere by myself. But if you're not aware, uh, the Hunt Showdown is an extraction shooter, which is, seems like a very, it's a very new genre in a way. I mean, people are going to disagree with me there, but I mean, the, the, the first one was Tarkov. If you don't know Tarkov, uh, I wouldn't necessarily blame you, but it's, um, it's been very popular. And it kind of jump-started the whole genre. I don't know. I think there are maybe other examples of extraction shooters, but they're, like, a bit more primitive and weren't as, like, intentional. If they were trying to be extraction shooters, um, it was, like, purely coincidental in a way. Um, but an extraction shooter basically is, like, a... It's kind of like a battle royale, but there's no circle you don't really have to um like you move towards a specific point necessarily you do have a goal though you have um quite a few goals you have to like try and get some resources generally try to accomplish a goal of some of some sort and uh, and then hopefully uh, as the name implies you have to extract you have to get to the exit and get out um, and if you are successful, you get to keep all of your loot, all of the things that you have, uh, that you got on your, on your mission, which, you know, cool, right? Um, and this is, a, this, I know this idea kind of appeals to me. It's PVP VE, uh, meaning you're not just fighting, um, other players, you're fighting, generally fighting some kind of like environmental creatures of some sort. Um, it's in the, in, the, in the case of the hunt showdown you're fighting um, you you are fighting creatures you're fighting like kind of zombies and weird swamp stuff and uh, it's all kind of kind of creepy you got this almost like horror vibe um, but in Tarkov I think you're just fighting uh, you're, you're you're fighting you know other insurgents kind of you know like people with guns and stuff it's it's very tech um so i bought the hunt showdown i, I really wanted to like it I, I haven't really gotten on board on any of these extraction shooters before uh but i i wanted to i wanted to give one of them a go and i jumped in and I did actually manage to like shoot someone and kill them, which I don't know. 
yeah, that, that was definitely fun. And, uh, and then I died. And then I tried again, and then I basically just died right away. I don't know, like, I don't have a group for these kind of games. Uh, I, I, if I had a group, I'd be more likely to enjoy them, I'm sure. But mostly, I'm just wondering if I should grab some quartz. Sure, let's grab some quartz. Mostly, I just like the idea of extraction shooters. And um, honestly, on a more base level, uh, what what happens is I see a lot of people enjoying a game, and I'm like, wow, they're they're having a lot of fun. I, I sh you know I, I don't want to miss out on this fun that people are having. I'd like to also take part in this fun. Because I see other people having fun. I, was, I would like to have some fun as well. You know? Um, so I jump on the on the wagon. And then I find out. Well, actually it's not for me at all. <laughs> um, which is fine. Uh, I don't... You know, I, I tend not to... If something isn't for me, then I... I you know, that's fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna poo-poo it at all. But I... Uh, personally, the, the problems I have with, um, extraction shooters is, I, I have no idea how the power scales, like, if someone is able to extract and get a bunch of loot, some good stuff, and then, uh, come in later with better equipment, I mean, uh, how would they not just stomp the ex actual crap out of you? Like, would they not just completely destroy you? So that is a, a, a theoretical concern I have. But honestly, I don't know if I super enjoy that kind of gameplay where it's like very, very, um, I don't know, realistic in a way. Because like you die really quickly. I guess if you had like armor or something, then you would uh, stand a better chance. Is this? No, that's quartz. Okay, we'll pick that up. Uh, there's a new game that just came out. It's actually an indie game called Zero Sievert, uh, which looks really cool. It looks a little bit, uh, it looks influenced by Stalker. Maybe some Skyrim, you know? It's got a little bit of Skyrim in it. Maybe a little bit of Binding of... No, it's, I'm, I'm kidding. Of course. Looks like a fun game. It was. It's alright. I mean, like... I have to respect what it is it's trying to do, but I, I personally did not super enjoy it, so I, I refunded it. But yeah, there's this other game called Zero Sievert that I kind of want to give a go. It's also an extraction game, but it's a single-player extraction game, which seems like a better idea to me. Uh, I think that I might have a bit more fun with the concept of, a, of an extraction shooter if I didn't have to contend with... Um, other players who are n almost 99% of the time going to be better than I am at the game, especially if they've been playing it. <laughs> and I have not been playing it. You know, I tend to not play the games I don't own, and I tend not to uh, own the games that I don't own uh, several years after they've come out. Do you, do, you, do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that the game's been out for a long time and I have not been playing it and other people have and they're going to be better than me at the game and certainly losing at that kind of game is not very fun. Um, this is not what I'm here for but some of these might have titanium in them so I'm just kind of, um, you know, grabbing what I can. This is an interesting zone. Have I been here before? Probably I have. Although, I don't know, there's some uncollected resources here. I definitely need a ton of resources, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect all of this. Could use some more inventory space. I'm pretty sure there... Uh, I think Kevbo was saying that there is a uh, larger inventory mod of some sort. There's an inventory upgrade. Might have said that. I'm just, I did, let's just say they said that. Why not? I could just say they said that. If I had the prawn suit, then I could collect stuff like this. Of course, that's lead. I don't really need lead. I mean, I'm sure I need lead for something, but... 
Titanium. Uh, we don't have any room left, so I'm gonna go back. So how is everyone's day doing? How how is everyone doing? It's Thursday, Thursday stream. I uh, I I got quite a bit of work done yesterday, hence why I'm able to stream today. I have I'm about halfway through finished editing the next uh, tutorial for Caves of Cud, which is a breakdown of all of the options. Um, I'm hoping to have that out next week. I was hoping to have it out this week, and I thought it was going to be a quick quick edit, but it was not. Nothing is ever as quick as I think it's going to be. Ouch. Oh, there's more scrap. I'm running out of oxygen. You have the vehicle upgrade station for the moon pool. You can craft new upgrades and tools for your sea moth and prawn stuff. Hey, hey, Kevbo, how are you doing? Today is actually uh, is Thanksgiving in America. Um, what is happening? I looked over at chat for one moment and uh and then I looked back and something really weird was happening. Is is it because I'm infected? Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Okay, so I need the vehicle upgrade uh, station for the uh, moon pool. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I have that. Do I have that? Probably not, huh? I'm just having a look. Neptune launch. We can make the prawn suit. No, we can't make the prawn suit. I need aerogel. Can't remember if I can even make aerogel. Nope. I cannot make aerogel, so we're not making the prawn suit. We're making the cyclops, for sure. Um, okay, so... I don't think I have enough um, to make the plasteel I need. I'm going to need more titanium, but you know, we had a good resource haul. So that's good. I'm going to assume that I'll need to, uh... Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm going to assume I'm going to need the... Uh, I'm going to have to go and scan it. Somewhere. Alright. What are you? Oh, I got another view, uh, camera drone? Did I like plant this? <laughs> did I did I uh, plant the moon pool inside while this camera was here? Once you find rubies or gel sacks, you can make aerogel. Both resources are easy to find in the sparse reef grand reef southwest of the safe shallows. Okay. I think I'm gonna need another locker. I think I have, I thought I got some rubies. I have some rubies. So I just need to get um, gel sacks. Uh, let's make another titanium thing. I think I have enough to make. Yeah, I have, I should have enough to make the, the last um, thingy, titanium in, uh, ingot. Oh, we can make some enamel gel, or enamel something. What's it called? Oh, this is just glass. Uh, enameled glass. Okay, so we need, I need, I think I have the stalker tooth I need for that. So we, we're going to make the plasteel ingots now. Um, I need to drop off some stuff though, because uh, my inventory is very full. 
We can put, we'll put silver and glass in here for now. We got a bit more copper. Copper has been the, like my main bottleneck forever. Uh, okay, so where is... Oh, we already made the enamel glass. Nice. Okay, so I, I had the foresight to do that. That's good of me. Okay, we have six of those. We need three... Three titanium ingots. I think that's right. Okay, here we go. Plasteel ingot. All right, so I have the plasteel, I have the enamel glass, I need lubricant, and I need advanced wiring kit. What? How do? How does one make the advanced wiring kit? That is here. Wiring kit, computer chip. Okay, so wiring kit is two silver ore. So I need two silver ore, one gold, one copper wire. A lot of stuff here. Okay, so we need one copper wire. Uh, one copper wire. I need one gold. I think I have that on uh, gold. I I, th I think I have the one gold on me. Yep. I need table coral sample. This is um kind of my least favorite kind of crafting. You almost I, I like. Uh, fortunately, the the. You know, the, the game has its own built-in wiki, but it's the kind of crafting where you have to look stuff up constantly. Okay. Slightly more titanium. Oh, it wasn't tube coral, it was table coral I needed. Computer chip done. So we should have the Cyclops very soon. Um, it's not honestly a ton of res. I mean, it is a ton of resources, but luckily I have most of the resources I need. Okay, so uh, I just need one more gold, which I should have somewhere. Gold is one thing I'm not short of. I even have a bit more lithium. That's good to know. Okay, advanced wiring kit done. I'm pretty sure I might have the lubricant as well. I am never short of lubricant. Okay, um, all right, so what do we need? Constantly be looking this up though. Enameled glass, okay, so I just need the enamel glass and one lubricant and I'm done. Where is the enameled glass? Actually, you know what? Let's go and get the rubber stuff first. I don't think I have. I might actually, I might have some lubricant. I might have had the foresight of keeping some of that. Yes, actually I do. Nice. 
Okay, so in that case, we have everything we need. I just need the enameled glass. And we are making ourselves a Cyclops. Bimple rich in gold. Bimple got that gold. All right, this is, that's not it. Okay, here we go. Cyclops. Cannot build here. Must be constructed in deeper water. What? What? Can I pick this up? Okay, hold on a second. Uh, I don't know if I can pick this up. Provides a staple surface from which to launch the Neptune. Okay. I don't know what that is. So am I going to have to make another vehicle bay? I'm going to have to drink some water soon. Oh man. Oh man. That's that's a lot of stuff I need to make the mobile vehicle bay. I don't want to make another one. Is there no way to de deconstruct this? I don't think there is. I think I'm going to have to make another one. I could use a water filtration machine. I'm getting distracted now, though, but... What other stuff do we have? Wall locker, battery charger. Still don't know how to make that. We can make, um, what's his name? I always forget his name. Constantly am forgetting his name. All right, let's go eat some food and then I'm gonna have to, I do have a spare, I should have the resources I need to make another vehicle bay, but dang, if that isn't kind of a kick in the butt. Uh, we need more titanium ingot, so actually I probably don't have what I need. I need six more titanium. Do I have six titanium? I actually do have six titanium. Perfect. Amazing. Incredible. Uh, so... I just need another, another power cell. I'm pretty sure I have an empty power cell I could use. It would very much surprise me if I don't have a power, extra power cell somewhere. Probably in my inventory. I have one in my inventory, but it, that one is partially charged, and also I don't want to give that one up necessarily. I thought I had a ton of power cells. Where did they all go? Seek fluid intake yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. Vital oh, right. It's the, the melons are, are better. Uh, I guess I'll just for the sake of symmetry, I guess I'll, uh, I, I don't want to leave one plant in there. So I'll just eat it and replant. Okay. So we're just about ready. I, I swear to God, I thought, okay, there is another power cell and it is almost empty. Here's all my batteries. All right, so we have another power cell. I just need, I guess I'll use the lubricant for this and then I'll go get some lubricant somewhere else. Kinda don't wanna do this when it's night out because I need to find a good spot. I can never remember where, I think it's opposite of the, uh, the ship is where the rubber fields are.
What's everyone drinking today? Oh god, I just realized I'm drinking hazelnut. Ugh. Not a huge fan of the hazelnut. Gross. Oh, is this thing dead? I really want to find that uh, power charger. Okay, I think I only need one. I'll take two, though. There you go. All right. This wouldn't be a bad area, actually, to put the other vehicle bay if this is where I need to, to put it. Southwest. I might want to put my next vehicle bay southwest if that's the case. If I'm going southwest. I don't know if the Cyclops is what I want to use though for um for like doing uh like excursions i don't know like what is the benefit of the cyclops i assume it can go deeper but does it have like better armor not sure what the benefits of it are do i get like more than one lubricant for that i do i don't Okay, so I'll just go with all my stuff on me. Wait, do I? No, I won't. I won't go with all my stuff on me. I need to make it here, I think. Yeah, deployables. It's probably going to tank my power. I need some better power. Um, like, I need, I need, I need to throw some power down at some point. Okay, here we go. We got our vehicle bay. We're gonna go southwest. Can we go much deeper than Seamoth. Seamoth literally cannot explore the lo last lower area. They're more durable. Okay. If I had a choice about it, I'd probably make the uh, the prawn suit. Yo, why is it gotta be nighttime all the time though? Uh, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for the the planet to spin back around to the sun. Yeah, I, I'm really not a huge fan of hazelnut coffee. Luckily, this is the last of it, and I don't have to have it again for a very long time. There's something very cloying about hazelnut, you know, like it, it it's it's nice the first time and then you have it a second or a third time. And it's like, yeah, I don't I'm good. It's like pumpkin spice. Listen, pumpkin spice is fine, but there's a reason you have it like once a year. If you had it more than that, you might get sick of it real quick. You'll need to make both of them, unless you're a speedrun god galaxy brain. Alright, this seems like a good place to put the vehicle bay. Hoping that it doesn't get trashed. Cyclops. Oh, it's huge. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Really? I, it, three people need to be. Man, I don't. It's so huge. I don't know how I feel about that.
to the board, Captain. All systems online. Spicy pumpkin. <laughs> the seaweed clipping through it. So what is this? No vehicle docked. Oh, you can dock the, the sea moth in this? Decoy launcher. This thing takes how many power cells? I won't lie, this whole, this huge vehicle kind of gives me the creeps, if I'm being honest. Cyclops upgrade fabricator. Okay. Can dock the Seamoth or the Prawn Suit in the Cyclops. Only Prawn Suit can go as deep as the Cyclops can. Benzene poly... polyaniline. Cyclops engine efficiency module. Cyclops shield generator. Cyclops sonar upgrade. Sorry, sonar. Cyclops docking bay repair module. Cyclops fire suppression system. Crystalline sulfur, huh? Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Quite a lot of things that we can build for the Cyclops uh, if we want to. So what is this? Oh, these are upgrades. This is where I install the upgrades. That banging is kind of intimidating. No vehicle docked. This is uh, where I got in. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, this is I can I can go down here. I can dock the sea moth or the prawn suit. Oh, and and look at how much storage we get. Damn. Toggle internal lights on or off. Floodlights. We can color it. We can see the health of the prawn suit. I won't lie, this uh, this whole thing kind of spooks me a little bit. I don't I don't like how <laughs> how much stuff we're gonna need apparently for our future endeavors. Sound horn. Engine offline, power up the engine. Okay. Jeez. Rig for silent running. Oh, we have a se separate camera. What is that banging? Is that the air bubbles? It is the bu air bubbles. That's really weird. <laughs> okay. Um, we can see how much noise we're making. Let's let's go. So we're headed, uh, where? North, southwest. I thought I was pointed southwest. This thing is kind of crazy. Like, I've never seen a vehicle so large in any game. How do I descend? Oh, that's, that's how. Anything that sees or hear you will want to attack you. You do not want to go deep until you have a prawn suit and upgrades for it. For it and the Cyclops. 
Okay. Do I want to go and collect uh, rubies and um, was it rubies and gel sacks in this thing, or maybe just do that in the sea moth? This thing is fast. Should use the Seamoth with the max depth upgrade to explore the surface just below the surface. Okay, so in that case, I'll turn this thing around and then go get the Seamoth. Oh, this thing can go even faster. So we make a lot more noise the faster we go. Okay, okay. We don't want to do that. Cyclops' in-game vehicle. Gotcha. So, uh, I assume... I, I haven't spoiled, like, anything uh, of this game, but I do rem remember reading back, uh, like, based on some of the things that you have to face in the future, um... You basically, you have the Cyclops and the Prawn suit, and, um, when some of the endgame critters, uh, attack you, you, you... <laughs> You just jump in the prawn suit and then abandon the cyclops. Oh, can we... we can surface with this thing. I'm assuming this thing cannot go into the, uh, moon bay. Too large. Probably I should not be bringing this thing onto the sh uh, to the shallows. But I seem to be okay. Just gonna turn it around. I think I've made a mistake. Remember when I was smacking fish with the sea moth? Imagine smacking a whale with this thing. It's still funny. Okay, let's just leave it here for now. And uh, power down the engine. Prawn suit is mid and late game. Cyclops is late game. Prawn suit is multi-purpose. Cyclops has its own upgrade station on board. Prawn suit upgraded in moon pool. Gotcha. So I, I guess um, the next thing I'm going to need to do then is upgrade the uh, sea moth. The animation for climbing ladders is a little fast. Yeah, this thing is intimidating. <laughs> Look how large that thing is. All right, so let's jump in the sea moth. I think I do. I did upgrade the depth on the sea moth, so we'll go um, southwest. Did you say again? Yeah, southwest to the Grand Reef. My power cell should be um, charged at this point. Let's see here. Yes, it is. Nice. Welcome aboard Power Systems Online. This thing is a, a bit more my my size. I don't know. Large things kind of creep me out.
We do have a we do have an a depth upgrade for the sea moth. This thing's pretty fast too. Make no mistake, it's pretty fast. What do we need? Okay. Uh I have a bunch of stuff on me that I don't really need. So I'll 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 drop the tube coral and table coral if need be. Found in big wrecks in red grass plateaus, northwest mushroom forest. Why don't we do that first? Because I've been meaning to do that for ages and I keep putting it off. Super deadly dunes. Northwest mushrooms. All right, let's go to the northwest uh, mushroom forest then. I'm assuming the charging stations are not as important now that I have the, the moon pool. Probably should repair this thing. I, I, f the, these are not the mushroom forests. That's, that's not the mushroom forest you're talking about, right? It's a different mushroom forest. The one down there. Cause I, I like fully explored down here. And I could, I did not really find, uh, I think I found everything I possibly could from down there. I'm pretty sure I found everything I need from down there. So I'm assuming... Oh, oops. I'm going to assume that I, I have to go to... Um, go f further northwest. I'm going to repair. Oops. Press the wrong button. Is on the surface and has tall mushroom trees, jelly shroom caves below surface, and is a separate biome. Okay. It's, uh, it's nighttime a lot in this game. Not sure I'm going the right way. Kind of want to wait for um, daytime because then I can see a little bit better. Give me a sec give me a minute. I'm gonna wait for daytime. Shouldn't be too long. Nighttime doesn't last too long in this game. Which is merciful. Never stay at surface. Never stay at surface. Okay.
down to the depths. Well, the thing I'm looking for is on the surface. I don't like how much I can't see at all <laughs> right now. Oh, is a night, a daytime coming back around, or is am I just close enough now that I can see this? I'm just waiting for daytime, so I can see a bit better. Oh, then below sea level. <laughs> is, that, is that daytime? No, that's just the moon. Why is the moon so large? Yo, we have two moons. Is that just another planet? Yo. yo, yo, yo. I should have brought some food. I didn't bring any food, did I? Uh, that might end up being a mistake. Could definitely use some more titanium. I could just grab the titanium and then head back. My last statement was censored. Oh, I'm I'm headed to the north. Uh, the super deadly dunes are northwest, which is also the direction I'm headed in. Hey, bot. Jelly shroom caves below surface is a separate biome. Northwest mushroom forest. All right, you know what? Let's go to the sparse reef then. Southwest. I'll grab some stuff here. And, uh... Just so I don't, you know, leave with nothing. That way I can grab some food when I get back. And um, then we'll go southwest. South, southwest. How's it going, bot? Something else I can collect. Those are those are being starting to be invaluable because they give you a couple of, of chunks of titanium. 
wonder if we hear a band in the ship. <laughs> YouTube keeps shadow banning my link to the surface map. Yeah, YouTube is probably going to do that because um, YouTube is going to see apparently all links as, as being nefarious except for the ones to porn sites, which I really love. Like, for Christ's sake, YouTube. Every single one of my streams has like some kind of bot after the stream is done saying something weird and they uh they, they just never they never never seem to ban those. Alright, we're going to I'm gonna eat some melon and I'm gonna drop off my titanium. Yummy Okay, let me uh let me look up how about that i can i could i can help as well um i'm going to look up a map of the surf of of subnautica subnautica map because like you know i would love to to play this game in like fully legit but um, part, parts of it are, are difficult to navigate for me, personally. It's a me thing. Alright, I have a map here and I'm, I am see the crash site. Grand Reef is southwest. I see that. What is KF? Uh, I assume that's something very basic. What is it? Oh, Floating Island. So, uh, the Floating Island is in the Grand Reef. I, I have a multicolored map, if that uh, um, sounds familiar, Kevbo. I see the grassy plateau. Sparse Reef is southwest. I see that. Not just you thing, it maps, maps like that exist and are popular. Like, I would love to be a super cool, um, turbo, awesome YouTuber, gamer person that, like, just gets it all right, gets it correct. Uh, but I get lost, and, uh, you know, I, I feel I feel bad I can't play the game, like, super legitimately. If I, um, I, I know, like, I, I should just use the beacons, right? Beacons would be good. I'm just looking for somewhere, some storage to shove my titanium. There we go. Throw this in there too, why not? Not that. Keep that on. I, actually, I should keep that somewhere safe. How you doing, bot? How's, how, how's life treating you? Okay, um, we're gonna eat some more melon. I wish I could process melon. You know what I mean by that? I wish I could like turn it into food cubes. I'm sure at some point I can. I'm sure there's a food station that does exactly that. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go to the Sparse Reef. Sparse Reef is pretty much exactly southwest. So let's go southwest. Below zero has vastly superior geography. I, I saw that uh, Below Zero is on sale. If t if I'm being super honest, I don't really want to do this again. <laughs> like, I like this game. I do like this game, but it also stresses me out. Um, And I just, like, I don't know if I want to do that again. I, I, I tend to not want to be stressed out. And I knew exactly what I was getting into when I started playing this game. I knew I was going to, uh, you know, get, I knew it was a stressful game, but, um, 
you know, I also know that it, you know, I knew it had good qualities as well. Uh, I mean, some people enjoy feeling stressed out in, in a way, like they enjoy the, the intensity of it. And I can respect that. Just checking this out. This looks like something. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so sparse reef. Uh, let me know if you see something that looks like the sparse reef, because even though I know what direction it is, does not mean I know what it looks like. It's supposed to be past the grassy plateau. Very excited for Subnautica 2. This is Subna is Subnautica 2 uh, confirmed? Or whatever they call it. I think there is a confirmed like next Subnautica. The um the company that uh, did Subnautica is, they they did this Moonbreakers game, Thermal Plant Fragment. Unpowered, oops. Uh, do I not have another battery? Oh no! <laughs> I came all this way and I don't have a scanner. Um, let me pop a battery out. Of, can I not pop? Oh, I don't even have a spare battery. I can't even swap a battery. No, I do have a spare battery. How does one, um... It won't let me swap a battery out. Oh no. Oh no. I have to go back. God damn it. Oh. You're in the sparse reef and that is the big wreck. Okay. You know what? I Do I have a beacon on me? I do have a beacon on me. All right, let's, let's do this properly actually. Didn't even bring a scanner with him. Okay. God damn it. Yeah, sorry, uh, Moonbreakers. Uh, the devs for Subnautica, or not the devs, but the company called did Moonbreakers, which I actually, I think is a really cool idea. Um, it's like a legitimate attempt to make a game, like a, almost a miniatures simulator. Uh, it's not based on any, like, known franchise, so it's not like Warhammer or, um, God, there's, I guess Warhammer is basically it. There's a few miniatures games, but, um, Warhammer is the main one, uh, and, you know, painting miniatures is very popular amongst uh, Warhammer fans. Although I think that the, you know, the community or the, the, the miniatures painting community has sp um, spread out a little bit more. Because in the last decade or so, there have been a lot of board games come out that uh, kind of build on the idea of people enjoying painting miniatures. Like they all have miniatures in them now. Like, every single major board game that comes out now, I say major, like, you know, games with million dollar, million, multiple million dollar plus successful Kickstarter campaigns will tend to have, like, very complex and, uh, you know, like, professionally designed creatures and miniatures and stuff. And they're very intentionally targeted towards people who enjoy painting miniatures, which is fine. Not my thing, but, uh, you know, I, I, I can I can respect that. Also, like, um, a lot of the Dark Souls board games, you know, like, they, they all have, like, crazy miniatures and stuff. Wait, there's going to be a Subnautica 2? I'm pretty sure they did confirm that there is going to be a Subnautica 2. Let's, uh, put a... keep a couple of these on us. I don't, do I need the radiation helmet anymore? Didn't I like stop the radiation leak? 
Um, propulsion cannon. I don't know if I should be carrying some of this stuff. Probably I'll keep the stasis rifle on me because I know that that is actually a pretty decent, like, getaway tool. Okay, back to the big Rick. So, um, yeah, Moonbreakers. It looks really cool. I don't know if the actual game itself is good, but it's got a really robust, um, like, painting simulator, so you can actually paint the miniatures. And then other players, like, when they're fighting your team of uh, stuff, of, like, you know, miniatures, and they don't, they're, 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 like... What's interesting, I know that some people complain about this, but um, the miniatures themselves are not like animated and the reason for that is so that you can paint them right um but yeah uh you can see other players like how they've painted their own characters and their their little soldiers and stuff and i, I think that's a really cool idea i haven't seen that done before and you know we have the tech to to do stuff like that now i mean you know only if people design it i suppose but um, I, I, I think it's a really cool idea, but they did say, cause, uh, people raised some concerns is like, is this, does, does that mean this is it for Subnautica? You guys are working on this now? And they're like, don't worry. We're working on Subnautica as well, or some kind of Subnautica follow-up, which is cool. I think, uh, I think Subnautica has a lot of room for, like, different iterations. I don't know, it's kind of hard to maybe necessarily improve on the format, but a lot of games have been, like, kind of taking Subnautica as an influence. Like, a, some kind of... What do you mean, unpowered? Let me... I have batteries. Wait, what? It won't let me change the battery. Fans are always awful. Um, what's going on? I have batteries, but it won't let me change the battery on it. Uh, am I, am I experiencing some kind of soft lock? Uh, I don't know how to change the battery on the, on this device. And it, no, nothing I press will... Do anything. Let me check my keybinds. Keyboard. Cycle previous. Toggle alternate use. Reload. Maybe R? Yes. There we go. Excuse me. Did I swap it for another dead battery? There we go. After all of that, I already have the thermal plant. That's fine. There's more stuff here, I'm sure. Where's my moth? I, I need a refuel on my oxygen. Deeply respect all Warhammer people that paint their figures. My little Necron army looks like a gray blob. I call it camouflage. Yeah, for when they, uh, they stormed through the gray city. <laughs> I see there's uh, quite the stuff down there, maybe. So this is the big wreck. I need to fully explore this zone. Water. How do you say it? Do you say it like... Water? Water. Or water. Uh, uh, uh. So 
please tell me. Okay, I did bring my laser cutter. Thank goodness. Canonical that everything Imperial and Warhammer 40k is abysmally great. <laughs> Didn't a, a new Warhammer game came out just now? I think it's called like Dark Tide or something that people have been really hyping up. Reinforced dive suit. Nice. Modification station fragment. Uh, apparently I already have that. I'll scan this stuff. I'm assuming that's not what I, uh, I was com I'm coming here to, to scan. Uh, that there's something else here as well. Voda. Hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna find your message, Kevbo. What? Why am I? Why am I here? Surface is annoying. They repeat multiple biomes to make it feel bigger, and half the game is grinding resources. I've been replaying it myself right now. It's grinding. Below zero is vastly superior geography. I missed that message. Um. Grand Reef, sparse reef. So I can find gel sacks in the grand, uh, the, the sparse reef, which is where I'm at. But I needed something specific here. Vehicle upgrade station found in big wrecks in r red grass plateaus, northwest mushroom forest or sparse reef. Okay, so I'm here for gel sacks and I'm here for the upgrade station. What is that? That looks like something. Prawn suit torpedo arm fragment. I don't know if I have that. I don't have that. Nice. Like, you know, let me say this about Subnautica. Um, I know I, I, I know I do a lot of complaining about it. But I have to admit that um, for a first attempt at what I would consider to be a fairly novel genre, I think that this is very successful and I think it holds up as well. Um, this game is is like it, it's in, insanely influential. A lot of people have built on what this what this game did. And I respect it for that. And I think it is, is, is worth playing as well. Like, I think it's worth it. Um, not that, not that I need to defend the game, but I, you know, I understand where the complaints come from and I complain as well. But, uh, you know, I, I, I think overall, I, I should say more positive things about it because I do think it's, it's a good game and it's worth, worthwhile. I'll need the laser cutter to fully explore big wrecks. And find all the blueprints. Subnautica Classic sucks. Below zero is better. Okay. I do have the laser cutter, so I should be able to do that. There's some stuff down here, maybe. Oh, we're reaching the limits of our uh, sea moth. Is this stuff that I can use? Is this an asshole plant? Yes, it is an asshole. Ouch! <laughs> Imminent. 
don't know if I like this place. Isn't this something I need? Blood oil. I can't remember what blood, blood oil is good for. Something important, right? Oh, there's, there's those teleporting jerks. I don't really want to pick this up. Oh, I guess I can store it in this emoth. Didn't really want to pick it up because I know it takes up a lot of space. Oh, I actually have a ton of stuff in this stupid container. Ah. Spooky? Yeah, this place is kind of spooky, isn't it? What is that? Is that something I can pick up? Oh, gel sac. There we go. Do I have to cut that? Pick it up. Ouch. Big is in the blood kelp trench right now. Well, I'm getting the arrow gel I need, and it doesn't take up much room, so I can take a lot of it. That's lithium. What's that? That looks like something important. Grab the lithium. Lithium will be important. This game was way more fun when you could destroy terrain. It was only a, a bit laggy. I didn't know you could destroy terrain in this game at all. Oh, this is a creature egg. I don't actually want those. Okay, so I have a full inventory here. Uh, I should have picked up my beacon. Probably gonna come back here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, I would like to pick up one more thing if I can find something. Oh, there's a ruby that would be worthwhile. Look at those guys. Oh, are those this, the same as the spiders on the surface? I hate those things. I don't like any of these so songs, uh, sounds right now. Once upon a time in the alpha, you could dig into the ground. It got removed because it was so buggy and easy to break. Huh. I think, it, I mean, I kind of don't hate me for saying this. I, I think that it was, that was a good move. Personally, I think that, uh, Making it so that you couldn't dig underground made made it uh, forced their hand in a way to design very interesting environments uh, I know that there are gripes with the environments, but you know hear me out um, more interesting environments than just like having um, kind of like randomly generated terrain and it, it gave the it gave players something to explore and I think that that is the best traits about Subnautica. So I have a full inventory. I guess I could eat some food and drink some water. Uh, I think I've already scanned whatever this is. Um, what I will do, uh, what I'll do, I'll, I'll drink some water. I want to get some more gel. It's kind of why I came here in the first. Oh, ouchies! 
bastard. I don't like you. Ah, oh, there's a lot of them, huh? I saw some gel. Oh, there it is. What is this? <gasps> Power cell charger. Yo. Yes. Finally. Okay, we have the power cell charger. I, I personally would still I would prefer to have the um the battery charger. Seems to me that those things are sometimes shiny. What what does it mean when they're shiny like that? Does it mean anything or are they just like is it just pretty? Is it just the game being pretty? Uh was it really all the way back in the alpha? Otherwise, you could dig straight into redacted. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense that you could like just dig into the end game. Because why? Why go through an environment that is like potentially dangerous when you can just dig down into the ground? Dig a hole. What is that? That looks like something important. Is that another the power cell charger? That is the power cell charger. There's more gel. I could eat some food and grab that gel. There's also some rubies. Hey, hey, don't be doing that. What could I drop? Is there anything I can drop right now? Sulfur could technically drop. Oh, you know what? Let's drop this creature egg. I don't need that. Maybe I need that, but uh, not right now. Oh, there's more rubies. This is the good stuff. This is why I'm here. Um, I'll drop one titanium. I can always get more titanium. I suppose I can always get more rubies, but... Oh, uh, more rubies. I, I kind of... kind of want to just drop my titanium and grab... Grab what I need from here. Shiny things equals interactable. I only remember a dig in sand. Oh, ow. I hate you. Okay. Gel sack. I'm pretty... I think I'm good. Power cell charger. Finally have the power cell charger. This is very good. But I didn't get the vehicle upgrade station. Um, so I think I'm going to head back. Okay, there's a there's the shiny thing. Wait, no, it's not shiny. Never mind. Is this shiny? It's no longer shiny. This one's shiny though. I don't know. I don't remember digging sand, but I, the game was in uh, alpha and beta, as I recall, for a very long time. Like this game was, it did it, it did its early access business right. I'll say that tentatively because I mean it was in early access for a very long time. And that was back when early access was not necessarily seen a uh, seen very kindly. It's still not seen very kindly, but I think people have gotten kind of over it. You know, like, 
there was a time when any game coming out in early access people would just like immediately disregard it it's like oh another game making me pay for the alpha there, i know that there's some truth in that sometimes um and i understand like you know you don't necessarily you know people don't have uh necessarily a large amount of disposable income and uh paying for something unfinished there it is vehicle upgrade console um doesn't necessarily seem like a mutually beneficial uh arrangement <laughs> but uh i think that early access has its place and i think that some games have benefited from it i think that some games have been made better because of it the vehicle upgrade station wasn't here that means it was in a red grass plateau I, I i think i just found it just walked through the dunes in prawn suit that could only punch last night <laughs> plus whatever god you canadians worship <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we Canadians only worship snow, eh? We're all about our snow and ice. And a good log in the fire, eh? Actually, I'm pretty sure Canadians just worship, worship beer. I'm pretty sure that that is correct. The only god I worship is the beer I'm drinking. Personally, I'm more of a cider guy myself. Don't tell anyone I said that. Never been a huge beer fan. Just walk through the dunes in prawn suit that could only punch last night. God have mercy on your soul if you're going, if you're in my position. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Based Tim Horton. Bless that Tim Horton and, and his friend, uh, Wayne Gretzky. That Wayne Gretzky God. Vehicle upgrade station appear in the sparse reef. Yep. Yo, what are you doing, my dude? This is my zone. Get out of here. Get out. 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 Gotta go for now. I hope you all have a good stream and day. All right, take it easy, Mimesis. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate you. Sorry, I missed your your message there. Okay, now we're making we're making aerogel. Synthetic fibers, benzene. Oh, I need three blood oil for benzene. Damn it. Benzene is a pain in the butt, huh? Okay, well, we're making aerogel. Is there any reason to keep this stuff uh, not as aerogel? Like, is, are rubies or gel sacks made for anything else? Don't, a don't answer right away, because I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because I, I don't want to keep all of this stuff. Uh, I guess this means that I can officially start working on the prawn suit. What is this? What do we got here? Synthetic fibers, diamonds, and titanium. I'm assuming I will want to make this. Pipe. Flota floating air pump. Axis starting point for pipe chain. If Big has the outdoor grow bed, he can grow his own blood kelp. Oh, they can be used for base materials for other upgrades, but they're easy to find. Apparently, yeah. Um, if I have the outdoor grow bed, I don't 
know if I do. Let me see. There's the aerogel. It's okay. We're going to need that aerogel anyway if I want to make the... Uh, well, if I want to make a lot of stuff, actually. Because now we have the ability to do vehicle upgrades. Do I want... Can I do another Seamoth depth, depth module? Or can a vehicle only have one of, the, of a certain type of upgrade? Ooh, torpedo system. Oh, there's some really cool stuff here, actually. Prawn suit depth module MK1. So we'll need that. Oh, I need more plasteel ingot. And the rubies. Oh, that, that serves me right, right there. We have some gas torpedoes. Well, we can start working towards the prawn suit. Ah, what? Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. Oh, wait, no, that's just to upgrade the tube decoy. That's not to make it um, a decoy. They do not stack. They must be upgraded at the upgrade station. Okay. So we need the vehicle upgrade console built in the mon uh, moon pool to upgrade docked vehicles. But do we have the exterior grow bed? Uh, these are interior modules, so it makes sense that it would not appear there. I don't know if I do have the exterior grow beds. I have a funny feeling that I don't. Uh, it kind of feels like I don't, actually. Oh, I still don't have the nuclear reactor, damn. Is an alien containment for the uh, creature eggs? I'm gonna see. Oh no, there it is. Exterior grow bed. It's absurd. I love this game, but got. Wait, what? Oh right, it's nighttime. Oh, I had so much titanium and I threw it all away. Oh, I didn't throw it all away. I have some now. Okay, cool. Um, so how much aerogel do I need for the prawn suit? I'm gonna I'm gonna make some exterior grow beds now. Um, I'll, I'll do that in just a second, but I just want to check to see what I need for the prawn suit. There we go. Oh, I only needed two. Damn, okay. I only needed two and I made six. I'm sure I will need the aerogel for other things, so it's not that it's a bad thing I have a lot of aerogel. But it's maybe maybe a little bit premature. Contains blood vine seeds, maybe processed into benzene. So can I use these to plant um, in the exterior beds? Rouge cradle seed. Um, let me grab some titanium and I'm going to make some exterior beds there is a lot of grinding in uh, subnautica but what i do appreciate is that like you don't have to grind a lot for one thing right like i think in a lot of games the major mistake is that oh i gotta like get a bajillion things to make one thing and I do appreciate in Subnautica that, like, I have to find one zone and pick up a few things, and then I'm good. Uh, I don't have to spend ages and ages grinding for, like, the next thing. God damn it. There's <laughs> the power cell charger, and I need rubies for that. Should not have made all of those aerogels. That was stupid. That was dumb, dumb, dumb. Okay, exterior grow beds. Here we go. Plant blood oil in grow bed to grow multiple stocks of blood kelp that give multiple blood oils. Okay, gotcha. Um, can I only place this on base? Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Uh, you can't. You really need a flat surface for this. Can I make a foundation? All right. Let's see if we can't make a foundation. I'm sure I can. Base pieces. Here we go. Uh. uh. No. Hmm. You'd think. Oh, foundation. Yeah, we can. Okay, let's do that. I need lead for it, but that's fine. It would have been weird if you couldn't. Oh, I do have some more rubies. Nice. I didn't waste all of them. Just most of them. Lead. You know, the thing, like, I always feel a little bit stressed out about playing um, Subnautica for various reasons, but, like, also, once I start getting into this game, I do enjoy myself. Like, it is, it is an, a pretty, it's an enjoyable game. Like, I, I'm sure the next one, um, Below Zero, is better. And I know, like, with the, the you know, glowing recommendation from chat, I will consider grabbing the follow-up. I'm just gonna go for it here, lads and la well, Nemesis is gone. Lads. <laughs> um I'm gonna make as many of these as I can on this one foundation. And uh you know what, let's let's go ahead and No power. Oh, that's why. Okay. One more. Uh, something I do really appreciate in this game is that you can build something without having the resources. That's something I wish a lot of games let you do. Because it's just so nice to like, oh, I don't, I, you know, I can like I can plan things out a bit and then just like come back and build it later. There we go. Okay. I don't necessarily need to use uh, all of these uh, as blood kelp but we'll we'll go ahead and get the ball rolling on that for sure look at the sea moth compared to the freaking cyclops it literally fits inside the other absurd okay open storage switch container we are growing blood kelp Big needs to go east and get some bulb plant samples. You can plant multiple in these. Uh, yeah, like I, I would like to plant other things that also that I also need. Um, did I? I have one, another one here, right? There they are. Do I need rouge cradle seeds? Are those at all important? I might just get rid of that if not. Go east and get some bulb plant samples. Um, I'm looking at east. East is a, is a mushroom forest. There is a mushroom forest east. There's a lot of GP. I'm sure the GP is not really important. GP and KF, I, I don't know what that means. And then there's an unassigned zone, and then ILZ, and then U. There's the Kush zone. Is the Kush zone where I want to go? What is the Kush zone? Can, should we go there? I don't know what these uh, ion cubes are for. High capacity alien energy source. Okay, we have planted our blood vines. Very good. We'll go east next. You need blood kelp, normal kelp, acid mushrooms, and deep mushrooms are useful. Bulb plant zone plants are useful for H2O restoration. 
Everything else is optional. Ah, Kush zone is the bulb zone. Wish you could see the map I keep linking. Uh, I could just look for it. Hold on. Maybe your map is better. Let me see here. Uh, I'm looking. There's a gamer walkthrough map. That one's actually less easy to read than the one I'm looking at. Um, okay, here's a here's a very in-depth map. Let me see here. Okay, this is a good map, but it also is very hard to read. Like, it requires my entire monitor to, to look at, because there is a lot of stuff going on here. But it does show me where um, pretty much everything is, including sandstone, limestone, shale stone, ba basalt stone. It also shows me where certain cre creatures are hiding out. Um, which, good to know. Uh, Big Rex, Whole Cave. I'm looking at the Mushroom Forest. This is, this map is fine, except for the fact that I can't, like, some of these icons are so small that I actually can't read them. So it's almost not helpful. Um, let me, I'm looking for a different one. There's got to be a better one than that. Yeah, uh... Sorry, give me, give me one second here. Floating islands. There's float- okay, there's one floating island. Mushroom forest... is where I want to get some stuff. Kelp forest. Oh, that's what KP- KF means. I'm just going to continue using the one I'm, I'm, I've been using because it's it's very readable. I can look at some of these others, but... Oh, this one's kind of nice. Let me see. Hold on a second. Oh, this one's good. Um, It's... Kevbo, confirm or uh, deny. This one... The one I'm looking at is uh, white and has a grid. And in the bottom right is a key showing all of the materials in all of the different zones. I wish the color coding was a little bit better, but this one's pretty good. Um, I'm still going to use the other one just because it is super readable. I might have them side by side. Yeah, side by side seems like a good idea. Uh, all right, so what I need next, what do I need next? Well, what I need next is to drink some water, uh, which means I need to eat some melon. Seek fluid intake immediately. I also what need to drop off some food? materials. Problem with having all of these maps open. Bimple is looking at bad maps. Gonna nick myself. Sea Treater's Path. Um, we'll, we'll get through this, Kevbo, I promise. The problem is, is, is like, these are, they're, they're good maps, but they just, like, they're very small icons. <laughs> making them very unreadable, making them very bad maps. I regret putting this shelf here. It's making life difficult for me. I'm just gonna... Mm. Okay. Might move that planter. Did you think I had changed in my weeks of silence? Joke's on you, I'm drunk and I'm still a piece of shit. 
Shadow band. Um. All right. I I didn't I didn't think any of that. I didn't think any of those things. Oh, I already planted that one. Okay. I kind of just want to make the vehicle upgrade station for now. I need titanium, copper wire, and computer chip. Don't I need copper wire to make the computer chip? E no, I need... Oh, yeah, I do. I do. Okay. So I need quite a bit of copper. I do have enough copper, I think. So we'll make two copper wire... I'm gonna make the vehicle upgrade station. I'm just like preparing a bunch of stuff. This uh, this episode is, there's not a lot of exploration. It's mostly just making stuff for now. Um, okay, Titan three titanium, we need a computer chip. The computer chip is, it's actually just easier to look here. Um, gold and table coral sample. Well, luckily we always have gold. Go ahead and shove my lithium in there. All right. And... My brain. My brain. Where it... Gold. What else? God damn it. <laughs> Table coral. <laughs> it's because it's such a weird thing that I don't need for anything else, basically. All right, computer chip. There we go. Computer chip made. We have everything we need. I just need the lithium. Or not lithium, sorry, titanium. I never meant to be the troll of your streams. I've been trying to be better. I, I appreciate that, Kevbo. And, and like I said, I, I, I played a hand in, um, you know, the misunderstanding. And, and I'm sorry about that. I, uh, I, don't, I don't mean to make it anyone's day worse. That's a hundred percent not my intention. So no, no worries at all. Um, and you're not, you're not a troll. You're like 90% of the time, actually, uh, great. And I really appreciate having you here. So don't, don't worry. Um, <laughs> Kev, but what about that other 10%? Well, you know, you know, um, where is the stupid thing, though? Dog. Okay, hold on. Maybe, is it a deployable? Yes, it is a deployable. Okay, or not a deployable. Sorry, it's a, ha a whatever habitat thing. Um, is that where I'm building it? Is it only going there? Okay. That doesn't make sense. Is that right? That doesn't make sense. You can't convince me. It, please tell me it can go somewhere else, anywhere else but there. Do I have to rotate it? Uh. No, no, don't worry about it. Where... Is that the only... Oh, wait a minute. Why is it that the only place it can go is somewhere weird? Uh, okay. Never mind. Vehicle upgrade console. Did you ever try Daggerfall Unity? If not, they recently made it a lot easier to download and play. It only took me like five minutes. I did, I did try Daggerfall Unity, but, and, um, <laughs> we did have a grand old time with it, did we, did we not? Um, Daggerfall is kind of like Subnautica <laughs> in that it is a very influential game and it is a hundred percent an element of its era. And I enjoy or respect what it is without necessarily enjoying the gameplay of it. And I did play a bit of Daggerfall, and I don't think I will be playing it again. 
makes an indentation in the wall. Right. It looks so weird, though, when you're building it. It looks like it's just going to be facing the wall. Okay, here we go. Oh, we can paint it. Uh, Biggs. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Bart! <laughs> yes! We can paint it. Look at look at the fun colors we can paint it. Well, I'm definitely going to paint it pink. Got to paint it pink. Interior is going to be... Let's make it like dark gray. Purple. Perfect. Stripe. Make it like... Blue. I like it. Done. Look at it. It's beautiful. What a son of a gun. I love it. It actually does kind of look nice. I, I appreciate what's going on there. Okay, use fabricator. Common modules. Hull reinforcement. Preemptively hardens the chassis before collision. And eliminating damage under normal conditions. We def... Oh, wait a minute. What? Do I have a diamond on me? I do have a diamond on me. That does that require four diamonds? Jeez. Unpowered. Aw, oh, come on, let me look at the upgrades. God damn it. Uh oh, I can I also need to make you know what we need? We need more power. Um, could I ask you, Kevbo, if you if you wanna just tell me the zone that the nuclear reactor is in then i can start working on that unless it's like very expensive to make like if, if if i can't make it right now at all then i won't bother um but i think i i want more power because like it, things are not going well right now you can use the vehicle upgrade station to make upgrade parts for your seamoth and prawn suit but depth modules still need an upgrade station to be buffed to max depth. Um, is that the module station? Or is it that are we talking yet another station, like a module, a modification upgrade station? There's a lot of stations in this game, huh? There are a ton of modification stations here. I still need the battery charger. It's kind of like the last thing. No, I still need the nuclear. I have two of three of the nuclear reactor. I could do the bioreactor, but uh, I don't know if that's necessarily what I want. I probably should make some more solar panels. Power restored. I could make a thermal plant. Power transmitter extends the range of a power source. Could I like make some thermal? There's a thermal um, geyser kind of nearby. Could I do a thermal plant and then do a power transmitter to transmit the power to back to the base? That might be better than if I did a nuclear reactor. Oh, we could do a water filtration machine now. Oh, we should do that. Oh, I want that like right now. I want to never have to worry about water again. Oh, I don't have enough copper. Modification station upgrades depth modules and the nuclear reactor can be found very easily in the jelly shroom caves, but the re bioreactor would be easier to power right for you right now. Okay. Okay, so here, yeah, the, here's the Seamoth depth module MK2. Um, and I need a lot of resources for that. And quite a few resources for that. And apparently the prawn suit depth module is, uh, I need kyanite, which God only knows what that is going to require. I see what you mean now when you say that this game has quite a lot of grinding. It does. It does have a lot of grinding. Thermal plant and lots of power transmitters can also power your base right now. Yes, bioreactor might be the easiest though. Okay, I will do, uh, I have... What do you mean fish inside my base? Get out of here. Let's do a bioreactor. I have the lubricant. I just need a wiring kit. I need more copper is what I need. I'm going to go and do a swim about. 
very easily in the je jelly shroom cave. Okay. Well, I do know where the jelly shroom cave is. I mean, it helps that I have a map open, but... Underwater islands. Mushroom forest. Actually, the jelly shroom cave is not marked on this map. I should have marked it with a beacon. I should make some more beacons. Uh, let's... Let me have a look. Look-see for some... What was I... What did I have this marked for? Limestone chunk? Let's look for some limestone chunks. Kyanite is an endgame resource literally unobtainable without a prawn suit and cyclops. Wow, okay. This feels a little bit buggy to me. I'm gonna need some mushroom, uh... Like, there seems to be a lot of whatever those things are called, the mushrooms. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here, and that is the direction that I need to go. Life pod beacon right next to the jelly shroom caves. Oh, is there? Okay. I'll check that out. So, um, what am I doing now? I'm doing, I am working on, I want to get the water filtration system and I want to get a bioreactor. That's what I'm working on right now. That is currently my goal. I wouldn't mind getting some of this, these, uh, these baddies as well acid mushroom i'll just i'll get a couple of them just to plant actually okay they only take up a little bit of space that's good hey excuse me buddy why are you taking my camera for that's not yours my dude come back here my dude that's my camera Kind of feel bad killing these things. There's a there was a time when these things kind of spooked me. Uh, you're just gonna keep picking up my camera. Whatever, you can have it. It's yours. Uh, I could use some more of those teeth. I don't know. Okay, there's probably some. Oh god, damn it. I need limestone. Aha, here we go. I need I need that copper. Acid mushrooms and deep mushrooms are very fuel efficient for the bioreactor and mushrooms can be grown in the outdoor. Okay, that's why I need the acid mushrooms. That makes sense now. I thought that I needed them exclusively um, to make batteries. Oh, God damn. Ouch. All right. Well, I'll, in that case, I'll plant a bunch of acid mushrooms. You think I would be able to eat this? Um Okay. I'm here for limestone. Hopefully that thing will drop a tooth.
I need I need copper so I can make the bioreactor. And I'm collecting acid mushrooms so that I can uh, fuel the bioreactor. Is it are those are these guys like dropping teeth completely chance based? My dude, you do not need to be coming at me. Ouch. Can we can we stop? Don't drop their teeth unless they have a bitten and carried around scrap metal. You can drop scrap metal around them for them to bite. Well, I saw that I saw that one grab some scrap metal and I thought maybe they would also drop a tooth. But it doesn't necessarily be a guarantee. Gold. I don't need gold. I need copper. I understand that I'm it's the limestone that drops the copper. These guys are not okay, right? Don't necessarily want to be hanging around here, but there's tons of limestone, so... Seconds. One more. Copper full. No, 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 no. Um, swap. Excuse me. So, oh, I don't have enough room. Oh, no, I'm going to die. Oxygen. No! Oh, damn. I forgot that the, the ultra high capacity tank takes up more room and I didn't have more room, so I couldn't swap it out. That was that was scary. I almost died just now. Uh, I, it went to zero, but maybe the game has a bit more forgiveness than that. Okay. Um, still looking for. There's still tons of limestone here, but there was a there was a copper that I didn't collect. Did I collect the, the copper? I don't think I did. I think it just lost to the ether. Is there something I could... I could drop the sulfur. Don't necessarily need more sulfur. I'm not gonna drop the magnetite, don't worry about it. Alright, well, maybe we should have enough copper to make what I need for now. I always need more copper. I always be needing more copper all the time. Hey, Faust. How you doing? I got a big ass plate of turkey and stuffing, and Bimple is streaming. Nice. True, I am. I forgot it was American uh, Thanksgiving. In before ooh, Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> Listen, I don't understand it either. I don't understand, like, is it just a Canadian Thanksgiving? We don't want to, like, we're, we're so polite. We don't want to impede uh, American Thanksgiving by having our Thanksgiving take place in the same, on the same day. I don't understand why Canadian and American Thanksgiving are on separate days. It's a kind of a weird one to me. Oh, yeah, you're Canadian. I already had my Thanksgiving, uh, like a month ago. <laughs> I kind of completely forgot that it was, uh, Thanksgiving today. Look at that, they're already growing. Alright, let's build some, let's do some acid mushrooms. We can do a bunch of these. I should uh, go and grab like a ton of acid mushrooms. We're building the bioreactor. We need a wiring kit. Uh, what does that require again? I always forget. 
two silver. I already have one, so I just need one silver. Two silver. Uh, uh, uh. All right, here we go. Bioreactor is... It's going to go in this room over here. That's so weird. <laughs> Okay, it has to be in the center of the room, huh? Hit the mushrooms with your knife. One mushroom equals four mushroom seed when you hit the... Oh, I... Okay. Uh, I still want to make the water filtration system, so let's do that now. Is it copper wire I need? Yes. Don't like to make copper wire unless I absolutely need to because copper is always my bottleneck. Water filtration. Okay, thankfully this can go in the same room. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the right side and then I'll always run to the, you know, in the left direction. Nice. Definitely going to need more power. We're kind of barely hovering. We're not even gaining power right now. Um, what I could do is make some more solar panels just so that we at least gain power during the day. So we need quartz and titanium for that. I know I have some quartz. Did I use up all my titanium? Where is my titanium? Did I use it all up? Yes, I did, I think. I think it's all gone. I use it all up. I use it all up. I use it all up. How does... Ch what does chat think of t uh, solar... Solar panels? Are they the future? Do we need to go nuclear? Oh, look at that. Politics. There it is again. Showing its ugly face. Looks like you're actually losing power, probably. Mushrooms in bioreactor equals 24-7 power. Okay, so in that case, let me go get a ton of acid mushrooms and plant them, and then a ton more acid mushrooms, and then put those in the bioreactor. Look at all these acid mushrooms. We don't need to... Ouch. Ouch! Oh, no. Did I, how much stuff did I just lose? What did I just lose? Like, completely needlessly. Oh, no. That was so stupid. I can't believe I just did that. I didn't think that I was going to die. I can't believe I did that. So, yes, you do get a bunch more seeds, but I don't think you can do it without hurting yourself. Solar def can work. We just need to perfect it or have space relays that can wireless tra wirelessly transfer power. That's a weird one to me. Is like, um, you know, like we if we could figure out wireless transfer of power and i know that that's a weird like how would you do that it seems to me that maybe we can't maybe we have to just have like a way of um you know like launching batteries into space and look at this we got a radio message mushrooms hurt you domesticated mushrooms do not harm you when knife harvesting okay good to know 
Well, since seeing as there's like a bazillion mushrooms around me, I might as well just collect them normally. Oh, I almost hurt myself there. Didn't mean to do that. Destroying the ecosystem by over harvesting. We already do it with cell phones and stuff. Mm, I mean, we do, but they have to be like right on top of the thing, right? It's only barely wire transfer or like wireless power transfer. I guess what you're saying is if we could just like extend the range of something, but I feel like, okay, hear me out, right? Um, we have a way of wirelessly transferring data, right? Like information, a lot of, uh, a lot of people know this as the internet, right? Um, but uh, excuse me. Okay. I think I just, uh, drifted a little too far away but um i think that a like it is objectively faster in some ways to literally just ship a uh a server like you get an external hard drive a few terabytes and shipping it is in some ways actually faster than transferring information on on the internet right I think in the same way we could probably achieve the same thing by like having a orbiting like charging station and bas basically just launching batteries into space, charging them and then ha like having them delivered back. Or um, from what I've heard, I mean like, like uh, this is uh, all Kurtz Gazette, so it's not really my, you know, it's not like I've done any informa uh, information gathering on this, but like if we had a non-manned, fully automated base on the moon, then we could just like charge batteries solar. There isn't even any like, um, you know, we, we don't even have like weather to, cons to to worry about on the moon. And then you could just like launch batteries back to earth that way sounds very sci-fi but um i think in some ways would be easier okay so i can i can start collecting ma acid mushrooms now um i think i guess you only get one back huh but you get you can you can get more seeds by just like cutting them i gotcha sounds like a smiling friends convo <laughs> we just need to make the distance greater yeah I like Nikola Tesla's idea of getting power from cosmic rays. Wasn't that the thing? Like, uh, a lot of people, um, like Nikola Tesla's big meme was that he was, he had apparently achieved some kind of like ability to transfer power over distance. Um, is that, is that like actually achievable or is it just something that people like, theorize that he was doing because i know that t nikola tesla is basically myth at this point like um we, we, he is somewhat on a pedestal and i don't know if everything that people say that he did is actually true not to not to poop on nikola tesla i'm sure he you know he achieved a lot of great things but uh, i also do know that people are tend to be mythologized in some ways mythologized mythologized you know what i'm saying solar batteries in space are crazy the uh, artemis rocket is pure solar gets like 80 percent efficiency in space is kurtz gazette not uh a good source of information he is a modern myth tesla a tesla coil right I guess Tesla coil makes a lot of sense, huh? Works great. Does it work great? Okay, so we have our bioreactor. It is uh, providing us with good charge now. We have a farm. They are just funny. You also watch them. I I, I don't I don't know anyone who doesn't watch them, honestly. Um, pretty much everyone, I think, watches them in some... Okay, these are not done yet. Okay, so now I need to make a bulb. 
or I need to go and get a bulb. These blood vines are really creepy looking. I know that's the point, but I don't like them. Oh, we have, we already have some blood oil. Heck yeah, bud. Uh, let's grab that. Can we, we can plant these as well. Yeah, um, Kurtz Gazette did a video about, um, first of all, the Dyson Sphere, which I think is one of the coolest concepts ever. Um, but also, like, never mind the Dyson Sphere, but we, we, you know, we have, like, free energy up in the sky. Our best form of, like, transference of free energy is, like, you know, this giant hydrogen ball <laughs> factory in space constantly beaming its free energy down on us. And I know, you know, solar power is great and all. Uh, and, you know, 100%, 100% I, I think that solar is is uh, a good means of making, of getting power. I do know that it's a controversial topic when we, when we talk about nuclear. I don't necessarily believe in nuclear because of a lot of reasons, but I also do know that there are good ways of doing nuclear power that we are not taking advantage of. And it really just comes down to, I think, um, good old-fashioned humans mess everything up. It really is that, you know? Uh, it really kind of is. Because, like, we could take advantage of, of nuclear and other forms of nuclear. Like, there are a lot of ways of doing nuclear and a lot of ways of doing nuclear badly. And, uh, you know... We tend to want to choose the latter, I think. And I think it really comes down to, um, like, the idea of nuclear power existing under capitalism is really just the biggest problem because, you know, when, when you design nuclear with a sense of cutting corners to save money, then that's when things get a little bit strange and uh, Chernobyl-y, you know? And they get a little bit Chernobyl-y as a treat. I love when my my uh, my nuclear reactors go a little bit f Fukushima just as a treat, you know, on the weekends. Your car is powered by dino souls. Yeah. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. I, I saw this um, Instagram video the other day, and not that this is a necessarily a great uh, credence of of information you know it's not a not a good source of information necessarily but it was an interesting video nonetheless but about um how many plants little mi microorganisms are flying through your uh what, what is it exhaust when you're using a car like for every inch that a car moves forward how many basically millions of dead uh, plant organisms are flying through it which is kind of amazing. All right, we I think our power problems are solved. Fossil fuels should have been out of the picture 30 years ago. I mean, like, this is the thing is like, anything can be used for good or evil. Um, I say good or evil, but I mean, you know, these, these ideas don't really necessarily exist when it comes to like the application of a tool but like when you cut as many corners as possible when you apply some kind of exterior motivation i think that um that's when things get a little bit weird and that's where uh humans humankind uh tends to tends to go awry because it's like you know nuclear power itself isn't a bad idea it's when you cut every single corner and then things and then you have like a literal like not even a nuclear bomb it's actually worse than a nuclear bomb it's like far and above worse uh sorry this is probably a little bit more political than anyone wants to get especially on thanksgiving but you know i have to be thankful for our little chernobyls and fukushimas you know i i am grateful for them they are uh where's my oh there's my moth 
Mimple is guilty over fossil fuels, but he's using an energy reactor literally powered. You're, you're not wrong. I am using a fictional one, but also, I mean, my computer is probably using up quite a lot of power. And for what, really? For this, for this uh, god-awful stream? Lord. Um, alright, so we're good for a nuclear reactor. I, I guess that's why I got started on this, is I looked at nuclear reactor here. I'm like, yeah, I mean, like, I could just build some more solar power, uh, solar panels. Um... Okay, uh, what was I going to do next? Probably I was going to do some modifications. I could, um, try and work on the next Seamoth depth module. If you were to construct really big Tesla coils, the atmosphere will act like a wire, kind of. That was Nikola Tesla's idea to give the whole world free power. That's an interesting idea. I don't know how I feel about us charging our atmosphere, though. Isn't that how uh, we, we... I mean, that, it sounds cool, but it also sounds like highly dangerous. Don't, like, do we really want to be messing with our atmosphere like that? Who knows what could happen there, honestly. Okay, so I need more magnetite. I need uh, enameled glass. That means I need to get some more stalker teeth. Um, and uh, what else do I need? Titanium. I need a ton of lithium and titanium ingots. Um, okay, so that means I have to go and get lithium. I think I have enough lithium. Oh, here's some torpedoes. Wow, those are expensive, huh? I guess I was working on the prawn suit next. Which is aerogel, we need more plasteel, we need more enamel glass, we need some diamonds. So, uh, really the main thing here is that I need plasteel, and the plasteel is going to be titanium. Actually, I think I have pretty much everything I need to make the prawn suit. The only thing I'm missing, I think, is the enameled glass, and I don't really know how best to get... Uh, enameled glass because I the stalker teeth I, I I find them on occasion, but I don't necessarily always find them If you're if you had a quantum generator that ran on only grass it would be dope <laughs> it Would be dope you're not wrong I Think I see some stalker teeth down there. Yo, dude Excuse me. Yo. Bimple was like, I need stalker teeth. And the game was like, yo, I got you, fam. Here's some stalker teeth right here. You know, I, I have to say, I never feel good about the use of the word fam. I feel like that's just not my word. Here, okay, I was thinking about this the other day. Chat, confirm or deny. L l l hear me out here. Do you think that it is inappropriate for a generation to use current generation words. So like, I am, this is gonna get weird and slightly personal, but I am a millennial, right? Should I be using Gen Z terms or does that just make me sound like a boomer? Should I stay in my lane? I should probably be saying like millennial stuff, right? Doesn't that seem more appropriate? I'm not saying you can't, I'm saying you shouldn't, right? Because then you start sounding like Steve Buscemi, you know, like, hello, fellow kids. Um, at a certain point, shouldn't you just like, yeah, I mean, like, I should be just saying things like, lol, lameo. Um, what other millennial thing? I I'm going to pwn this stalker. Someone uh, informed me the other day uh, as to the origins of pwned. Which I didn't even realize there were origins. That was pretty interesting. Stalker teeth can be found uh, with your scanner. Otherwise, look on the ground in kelp forest. That is what I am doing, and I am finding quite a lot of them. I think I am actually good for stalker teeth for maybe the rest of the game. 
Anyone can say anything they want if inclusion is actually a sincere thing. I mean, I think in inclusion is a sincere, sincere thing. And like I say, I don't think that anyone can't say it. I think maybe it's sort of like... Uh, this might sound problematic, but let me let me attempt to uh, draw an analogy here. It's sort of like when a 80-year-old uh, person, like a very old person gets their hair dyed a very strange color, like pink or blue or something. But I don't know, even that, I feel like, you know, oh, that should be fine. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Yeah, maybe I'm just wrong about this. I don't know. I just always kind of feel weird saying, like, current-gen things. I, I don't even think fam is current-gen anymore. We move so quickly these days, you know? Like, language... Memes... Uh, it's, you know, it's over in the blink of an eye. I think as soon as I'm using a meme, it's already outdated. It's already dead. Sheesh! Yeah, there you go. Can I can I can I do sheesh as a treat? You gotta flex on the time gap. Don't be mid. Be a Chad. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, Chad. I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> That meme's already dead. That was like not even a year ago or something. It was a couple years ago, actually. So you, maybe a few years ago. I love when older people dye their hair. I'm gonna say it. Wait, we need two quartz to make one glass? Aw, oh, man. That's a lot of quartz we need, then. How many quartz do we need? Uh, uh, uh. 16 quartz! I don't... What, is I, what do I look like made of money? Oh, look at all the quartz we actually have. Never mind. Ugh. The strongest memes survive. <laughs> um, what was I looking at the other day? Uh, like a ancient Greek tablet was discovered talking about how people don't want to work anymore. <laughs> that is really funny. Ancient Greek tablet. Like we're talking, you know, multiple many thousands of years old, this thing. And it's like, no one no wants to work anymore because they don't, you know, they don't pay their people enough money. <laughs> uh, ancient tablet discovered concept of uh, quiet quitting is referenced. History do be repeating itself again, do it, do it not. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, prawn suit. That's what I'm working on. I need plasteel. Is that what I'm working on? What was I working on, honestly? Probably I was working on the sea depth. No, I need this. Uh, plasteel ingot. We need lithium and a ton of titanium. Okay, time to go get some titanium. Wait, do I have... A full inventory right now? I kind of do. Let's shove this stuff back in. Trust in Tesla. He was ahead of his time. He invented the first good AC motor. Radio, remote control, Tesla coil, Tesla valves. The whole field of robotics. He may even have discovered cosmic rays. Wow. What a god. Average Edison enjoyer. You know, average Tesla enjoyer. The Chad meme. Listen, I wish I had a soundboard for these things. The best I can do is... Maybe uh, maybe I'll get on my meme game 
and uh, next week I'll have all kinds of soundboards ready with with Chad music and and uh, what is the opposite of a Chad? I don't know. Listen, I I know what you want to say. I'm not saying that though. That's that's not kind. Okay. We need lithium. No, we don't need lithium. We need titanium. I have lithium. I think I have enough lithium to make the uh, stuff. Yeah, I have tons of lithium. We're good on lithium. I wrote that and then forgot to press enter, so I'm doing it now. Uh, another Kurtz Kazet um, concept that I, I got clued in on. Is this on? Why are the lights on? Is that like, are, am I currently wasting power right now? All systems online. I don't want systems online. You're wasting power. Don't be wasting power, my dude. Wait, this isn't it. Yeah, turn them, turn them lights off. Look, you wasted a whole percent of my power. Get out of here, bud. Currently mining kyanite with my prawn suit, knowing what a pain in the butt this is makes me want to prepare a pig as much as possible. Oh no. Oh god. Not looking forward to some of the things in this game. I'm enjoying right now. I'm on honestly what I'm really enjoying is the grind. That's why I, I kind of feel a, ne a necessity in um like defending the grind because like this is the grind is the only thing stopping like holding me back from doing the truly terrifying stuff in this game i don't want to have to go six thousand meters deep and and uh fight freaking cthulhu count me out of that no thank you the freaking gremlins on the surface are scary enough pass Pass on Cthulhu beasts six bajillion meters underground. Oh, more of this. So what we need is, uh, I mean, copper is always good, but we need more titanium. We need a ton of titanium. Also, we are kind of coming up to the end of um, Subnautica. I, I like to give Subnautica a bit more room to breathe. Pray there are more convenient times to like stop. But like with Subnautica, if I stop in the middle of like, oh, I, I need this and this and this, and I'm making this and this and this, and I need to scan that and that and that, then I get very, um, you know, it's I, I don't want to I don't want to stop in in the in the middle of a task. There's always another task, but if I can at least get this one done, aka making the prawn suit, then I'd be happy. And also, I'm pretty sure Chat, uh, you would not mind more. Uh, Subnautica in favor over Prey. I, I think that that is fine. Yeah. What is that? What is this? Nuclear waste disposal. Is that just decoration? Oh, no. It's, it's a genuine thing that I could have scanned this whole time. Is that something I'm going to have to worry about when I get my nuclear reactor? Okay, we're going to go to the surface. Kyanite. I like Subnautica way more than Prey. I am, uh, I'm semi-struggling in Prey, to be honest. But I, I enjoy it enough that I want to keep it going. And I also don't think it's very long, so I may as well continue until I finish it. I gotta say, this is one of the nicest bases I've made in one of these survival games. It's 
speaking of which, uh, there will be more vintage story at some point. I say at some point, but um, I've been really busy with other things and haven't had a chance to do a vintage story like uh, session. And so why there hasn't been any more vintage story in a while. I was getting uh, I was getting to some interesting places in that game, and I do want to do more of that. I was I was enjoying it. Okay, uh, how much do we need for uh, the prawn soup? Probably we need like two or three. We need two plus steel. I might actually have uh, an ingot lying around somewhere. I do not. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's just make what we need. Well, let, let's make what we can right now. Just so I can shove this in somewhere. This is the third or fourth time I'm looking it up, but it's what? Two plus steel? Okay, we have, we only need two. And I'm pretty sure I have the diamonds somewhere i i have i'm not very good at organizing my stuff am i i have no diamonds on me did i lose my diamonds when i died to that acid mushroom that would be such a pain in the butt oh no do i not have a, enough diamonds okay i have exactly enough okay i thought i had more diamonds than that oh yeah i have tons of diamonds okay cool Cool. Um, so I really just need more titanium. Titanium is my main bottleneck right now. Throw my glass away right now. Titanium is always going to be a bottleneck. But luckily it's easy enough to get. You know what? Let's take the sea moth. If you need diamonds, go to the sea treater zone. Okay. Nah, I've got I've got tons of of diamonds. Welcome aboard, Captain. What I need is uh scrap. Scrap metal like this. This is uh when I can scan everything that I already have. When I can pick up the salvage. Titanium is easy to obtain near the crash zone. Just go towards the Aurora and look for scrap metal. Should I not be picking this scrap metal up because it's the way of getting stalker teeth? The very least I can see. There is a lot of beacons a lot of places and I didn't get any of them. <laughs> until very far away. Very far into the game. Well, I wasn't that far in the game, but I was farther than I should be without a beacon. Okay, we actually, I think I have a ton of uh, tiny. There's another one there, but I'm going to leave that one there. Because I, I, my inventory is full right now. Uh, I should have enough to make the, I, I think I have everything I need to make the uh, prawn suit. This... Cyclops really does give me this intimidating feeling. I don't know what it is. I can't really explain it. So bioreactor is what? 500 to 500. Wow. Yeah, this thing is really nice actually. And the filtration machine is working. It's also producing salt, which I guess I can use for bleach. Can I just drink this right from here? I guess I don't need to. I can just drink it. Plus 50 O2. Vital signs stabilizing. Really, really nice. I don't have to worry about um, water anymore. That's that's amazing. Stalkers are only in kelp forest. Scrap metal and kelp forest farm stalker teeth. Any scrap metal outside of kelp forest is fair game. The crash zone has a lot of scrap metal and reapers. Right. 
I only saw the one Reaper, and I know vaguely where it tends to like to go. So as long as I don't, you know, go near it, then I should be okay. I can make another one, but I, I don't like to do that unless I have to. Uh, so I just need my lithium, and then I should be able to make another plasteel. Okay. So I think I have everything I need now. Um, let's get the aerogel. And the we need another... I think we need an, only the one enameled glass for the prawn suit. Prawn suit. Enamel glass, two aerogel, two diamonds, two lead. Where is it? Where's all my stuff? Okay, one aerogel. Plasteel, two diamonds. Okay, is that calorie intake required? You're not my mom. Damn. Shut up. The mountains, the dunes, and the crash they are so full of reapers. Subnautica one is ridiculous with its reap with its reaper leviathans. It's like thirty total on the surface. Oh jeez. Wow. I think I have I think I've got everything now. Yep. So now we can make uh we can make the prawn suit. Hopefully I can do it here. I don't have to do it at the other mobile vehicle bay. Cause I don't think this thing is that big. It is normal when first piloting a prawn suit to feel a sense of limitless power. Prawn operators receive weeks of training to counteract this phenomenon. You will have to make do with self discipline. It crashed right into the Cyclops. Welcome to Captain. Why is it sinking? Okay, this thing is very strange. Let's take it to the moon pool. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna upgrade this thing. This thing just loves to sink, doesn't it? Alright. So let's see what kind of upgrades we can throw on this thing. First of all, we got to paint it. Do like neon pink. Uh, Biggs Parn suit. Alright, it won't let me do... Okay, big porn suit. There you go. And uh, make that like, I don't know. Blue. Interior is going to be a purple, purple gray like the other one. And then the stripe is blue. Done. Look at it. It's beautiful. I love it. Now, um, prawn suit modules. Well, we're going to need a prawn suit depth module. We're going to need nickel ore. I don't know if I've ever seen nickel ore. Where do I get nickel ore from? Crystalline sulfur? Where do we get crystalline sulfur? Is that a natural resource? Is that one I have to produce? And then I also need to make the drill arm. I want to make the drill arm, and I still need... I still don't know how to make the grappling arm. Our good idea for the final area zone, no. Prone suit thermal reactor. 
Well, that needs kyanite. We definitely want to get a depth module. I don't know where nickel ore is, is the only thing. Oh, we can make a solar charge for the uh, sea moth. That'd be kind of nice. Dedicated system for detecting and displaying topological data on the HUD. Kind of nice. Perimeter defense system. Generates a localized electric field gener uh, designed to ward off aggressive fauna. I don't know how to make that yet. Well, I don't know how to make polyaniline. Polyaniline. You need to upgrade the Seamount's death module to max and then explore the medium zones to find nickel ore easily. Ah. Damn. Okay. Well, let's eat some food and then I'll figure that out. Maybe this is a good place to stop. Seamoth sonar and emergent energy module for the Seamoth are a good idea for going to the mid zones. Okay. Um, all right. So that'll be the next thing I have to make. Uh, I could possibly make the Seamoth depth module mark two. I think I have everything I need. I think I even have enough titanite. Titanium, sorry. What, what, where did tit titanite come from? Where did that come from? Oh, that's Dark Souls. <laughs> I forgot about that. Remember Titanite? That was the one thing I didn't like about Elden Ring, was that all of the upgrade, like, resources were, like, very generically named. Uh, they were all, like, you know, Weapon, Stone 1, Mark 1, Mark 2, Mark 3. It's like, eh. Boring. Where's my large titanite stone? My shimmering titanite stone. Uh, okay, mark two. I need two magnetite. I think I'm kind of running out of magnetite. I hope I have some. Do I not have any? I have three. I have four. So I have enough to do this. And I'll need to pull out the depth uh, upgrade module from the Seamoth. Where is the Seamoth? There it is. Oh, I should turn the lights off. Okay, we take out the depth module. Crash depth now 200 meters. Torpedoes. Generates a localized gravity distortion. Load this to a vehicle torpedo bay. Uh, okay, this is where we make a, uh, a depth module, but this is not where we upgrade the depth module. We upgrade it over here, I assume. Yes. Okay, so depth module Mark II is made. What does Mark III require? Actually, it's not too bad. I think I might have everything I need. Yeah, I do. I just need uh, more titanium. Perfect. So let's go ahead and make it. We're we're like close to getting some uh, making some huge making some huge waves. Yeah. You're, you're welcome. Um. Okay. So let's go to the crash zone. Get some more titanium.
I'm honestly kind of amazed at how much progress I've made today. I had pretty much everything I need. I know that's like very much due in part to uh, uh, Kevbo, your, your help. I appreciate that. Thank you. I would not be progressing nearly as quickly without the assist. Where I thought I just saw. There we go. Grab trap. I can get some titanium from that. There's more stuff here, I'm sure. Oh, God damn it. The Seamoth depth module goes to 900 meters, which is all you need to explore the mid game zone. When you know where they are, I'll tell you when you get a depth module. Okay. You're big time invested in stream today. A little bit, yeah. Well, that was more titanium, so... It's either going to be copper or it's going to be titanium. So either way, it's worth it to me. Well, I, uh, I want to kind of get things set up for next week so I don't have to worry or think rem worry about remembering something that I... Oh, cool office chair about something like very trivial that I was like halfway through doing. Like I say, it's easier to kind of pick up the pieces in prey because I usually there's easier or more convenient stopping points in prey. Um, Subnautica is very task oriented and uh, I tend to forget stuff. So it's better for me to finish what I'm currently doing and set things up for next week. And in that way, we get more playtime of Subnautica. And uh, Subnautica is a bit more time demanding also than Prey. Prey, I don't think is very long. <clears throat> I have, by the way, found a good follow-up for either Prey or Subnautica, whatever gets finished first. I'm pretty sure it will be Prey. It won't be a super long game, but it will be a good one. I'm going to keep it as a fun, spicy surprise. I'm just impressed. Nice. I should be able to go fairly long today. Hey. Get out of here. These things are really creepy. I'm not really bothered by them. They're, they're kind of cute in a weird way. Like little sea dogs. They're like little sea Rottweilers. Inventory full. Yeah, inventory very full. Okay, we have enough titanium. Give us a hint about the game. Okay, I'll give you a hint about the game. It is also underwater themed. It's a very good follow-up or companion game to Subnautica. If I finish Prey, then... Um, the the second stream the second week stream will be very ocean themed for a little while i don't think it's very long also but who knows you can never you can never really know about these things you know i feel like i gotta transfer subnautica onto my SSD because it, it the we the pop in I mean it, it no game should pop in that badly That's really bad <laughs> Like I've played games Way more hardware demanding than this that don't pop in that badly Okay, um, what was I working on? Yes, I was working on the uh, I Don't I, I need to go over here I'm working on the depth module upgrade thing, thingy, thingy my bob. You should always game on an SSD. Uh, I mean, like, I've, I play a lot of games. They wouldn't all fit on my SSD, so I do have to prioritize some over others. Like, I put the Hunt Showdown on my SSD, and it uh, performed nicely. It always does. 
but like, I don't know. I didn't think that this game was demanding enough that it required an SSD. So how much do I need for this Mark III depth module? Uh, only one. Very nice. Okay, so I need two lithium. Boop, boop. And actually, I need that ruby as well. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, Plasteel. I have Platinum, Subnautica, and Below Zero. I'm just a fan. The games, especially the first one, just has a really bad pop. <laughs> it's, uh... It's kind of wild to me. Okay. We now have the Depth Module Mark III for the Seamoth. Amazing. We are kind of done. For now. Shove all of this in here. And we'll shove the Seamoth module in the Seamoth. Is the secret game Bioshock? That would be a really good follow-up to Prey, wouldn't it? That is a very good follow-up. I may make that the, the follow-up to the follow-up. But no. That was that is not in fact the follow-up. A really, really good suggestion, though. I, I like that a lot. I have been kind of feeling the itch to play some Bioshock. I really like Bioshock a lot. Um, is there anything else I could do now to the Seamoth? Engine efficiency module. Seamoth sonar. Uh, I do have enough to make the Seamoth sonar. And I might have enough to make the enameled glass. What does the advanced wiring kit require? Uh, silver, quite a bit of copper. Yeah, let's just get this out of the way. Let's make a couple, a couple more things. We'll make the sonar and we'll make the uh, so solar. We'll make the sonar and we'll make the solar. Um, okay, so let's make one of these first. Let's we'll do the less complicated of the two. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Seamoth solar charge enameled. No, that's the this one's easier. Magnetite and copper wire. We'll be using the last of my magnetite. So I'll have to get some more next week. Boop, boop. And we need basically all of my copper. Oh, or is it raft? Or is it stranded deep? None of those. It's, what is stranded deep? I, that rings a bell, but I don't remember what it is. Do I need to take the salt out or else it won't function or something like that? Solar. Solar charger is a newbie trap. You won't need it in the mid game at all. Oh, okay. What was the other thing that you said I needed then? There is a, you said that there was like two, two things that I, I would want to get. Sonar and something else. Um, I'm assuming you can't put in a second storage module. I could make the hull, hull reinforcement. Do I want to do the Seamoth torpedo system? I don't really have enough to make torpedoes yet. I'll scroll up a little bit. Uh can't really find it. 
I told him to play Subnautica. I feel responsible for guiding him when he gets lost. Solar and energy efficiency are great for mid-game exploration. Seamoth perimeter defense is good, but not mandatory. Energy efficiency. Uh, I need polyaniline to make that, and I don't think I know how to make that yet. So let's just leave it at that for now. I made the sonar, and that's good enough. That's good enough for me. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's cram these bad boys in here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. No, I don't want that. Show me the upgrades. Okay. Sonar. Done. Let's, uh, let's see it. How does one sonar? Boop. Boop. It's not sonaring. <laughs> Splat. How come it's not sonaring? How does one sonar? Dedicated system for detecting and displaying topological data on the HUD. Um, does this not go in? I know this is a stupid question, but does this not go into the CMOTH? Also, my storage isn't empty. It's got an antenna now. Did it always have that antenna? Oh, ion cubes. The uh, sonar isn't lit like the other ones are. I'm wondering if the sonar is supposed to go into the observation room. That's the only thing I can possibly imagine is the case because it's not working it's not it's not sonar -ing. See if it goes in here, maybe. Push left or right to access it. Then use the action key. Oh. F. Q. Oh, wait a minute. Scroll wheel. There we go. It was the scroll wheel. That's a cool effect. Does that use up a lot of power? That's really cool, actually. I like that. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. That's a that's an interesting suggestion. I've passed up every opportunity to, to get that game. Uh, Humble Bundle was like made it part of their choice, but it was like the only game in that specific choice bundle that I wanted, and so I didn't really want to pay for exclusively that. Time since last saved three hours. No, what save? I thought I just saved, but yes. I mean, I can tell you what the game is if you'd like. 
That is definitely an option. But a, a spicy uh, surprise is always my preference. Okay, uh, I'm going to take a quick break and um, grab, grab some more coffee, even though I have a full cup here. I guess I could heat it up in the microwave for the memes. Uh, I'll be right back in about um, two minutes. And then we'll do some, uh, some praying. 